Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to my Fast and Furious 9 Super Bowl trailer reaction. I actually did not catch this trailer as I missed the first quarter of the Super Bowl, which, yeah, that game is a whole nother topic for a whole nother video. But I am excited to go ahead and watch this. I'm actually a huge Fast and Furious uh, fan. I, I have been ever since the first movie, and they're actually the reason that I got into being a car enthusiast. And right here, this is my number one all-time favorite dream car and i'm actually already like marking out about this because i'm curious as to why they're showing the skyline like for anybody that knows these movies like the skyline is in direct correlation to paul walker and his character brian o'connor so i'm just surprised that they're showing this i mean i don't know if, if this is just for the trailer like an homage to him or if this is like a scene from the actual movie which i would think so but like who would be driving this i mean i don't know maybe they like hired paul walker's brother to play brian o'connor's brother in the universe to like show up and say hi to the family in this car which would be kind of dope or i'm just curious i feel they would not put this car in the movie unless they're like showing an homage or symbolism to paul walker even if it's like just for a second i, I don't know but it's pretty sick to see it hopefully there is something uh to have to do with paul walker rest in peace to my homie um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get to the video and see what they have to offer. So I'm expecting not much. It's a short uh, trailer, so this is going to be a short video. Let's get to it. The world has a way of changing, but there's one thing. That... No, we got Han right there. And for those of you that saw the first Fast 9 trailer last year, we already knew that he was coming back. I'm actually curious, though, how they're going to explain him coming back and if he's going to have, like, any significance to this plot. I do hope so. I mean... The obvious thing of him, like, surviving uh, from Deckard Shaw is, oh, he escaped the car before it exploded in Tokyo. Makes sense, okay? Um, but I just, I hope, like, they have a good role for him in this movie, you know? And it's not, like, just, like, fan service that he's here. We'll, we'll see, though. He, always nice to see uh, Sun Kang. Man, I, I was messing up his name. It's Sun Kang, right? Uh, tell me if I'm messing it up. It always stays the same. You miss the old life. Do you? Got all the characters back. Luda, Letty. Oh, nice. oh, hey, we got Mia there driving with uh, Han. I wonder what kind of car. Is this that Fiero? Remember in the last trailer, that one Fiero with like a rocket on it that Luda was driving? I, this looks like that. I, I'm actually kind of uh, excited to see that car. Every day. Oh, that's pretty cool. Are they like on a track, like racing again? That's cool. They need to bring back some racing to these movies, you know? Like, it, the high stuff is dope. I'm not going to lie, like, especially in Fast Five, but. It'd be nice to see some old school racing again. Cena, they got Cena in here. You know, some people like criticize Cena, but I mean, he he's just like a great actor. You know, he always shows up well to work. If you see him in the WWE, like he's one of the hugest superstars. He always putting on a great show, and even other wrestlers have like said for time and time again like he puts in hard work like he's one of the hardest working WWE superstars and I would expect nothing less from a movie especially of like this caliber you know you know how the Fast 9 movies they're all blockbuster hits so let's see what it brings to the table I'm actually excited to see him in this so we have Deckard Shaw's and Ian Shaw's mom right there I'm curious what car this is I I know I should probably know it but I don't I want to say Bugatti, but I might be mistaken. If I am, correct me in the comments. I'm not too sure what this is. <laughs> so we got, what's her name? Cypher. Cy Cypher's back. So she, she lost the dreadlocks. I actually thought she looked pretty cute with the dreadlocks. But let, let's see. So it's kind of cool that they're continuing with the same villain instead of somebody random. And I feel like it's kind of predictable maybe obviously cena she's gonna kind of like get cena to fight his brother which is dom and you know they'll probably end up teaming up at the end we'll we'll see though uh, i'm actually uh i'm curious of how they're like gonna retcon that that dom has a brother like how they're gonna explain it hopefully it's something clever uh sometimes these movies hit it on with like the story sometimes not so much but we'll we'll see what happens we got the product we got the tools crank it all the way up Yes! <laughs> oh, okay, all right. So, of course, they're cranking the action all the way up. They always do in these movies. They try to take it to the next level. Hopefully, it doesn't look cheesy. They're at, in the last couple movies, there's been a couple, like, huge action scenes. So that, like, look, I don't want to say look fake, but a little bit they do, you know? So, like, I hope they make sure it looks crispy if they're going to go, like, out of this world type stuff. Wait, PD-13. Oh, okay. So that, that was it. Um, yeah, you know, uh, like I said, I didn't expect much, and 
it, they didn't really show us like anything to the plot you know we already kind of knew all this stuff from the first um trailer that we saw last year that honestly the world has a this skyline is like the most interesting thing of this trailer um we'll see what happens so hopefully we get another trailer before the movie comes out other than that i'm super excited to see this movie um tell me what you guys think uh if you guys think like this movie is going to be one of the greatest or what's your predictions for this storyline let me know what you guys are feeling on this trailer and i will talk to you guys soon